Hey there, welcome to Sin Seeker. My name's Luke. Uh, today's gonna just be a real quick uh, little video. I had a hankering to do some cosmic sounds on the Micro Freak, uh, just to push it around and, and see what I can do with the modulation matrix. Uh, not going crazy, but uh, definitely having fun with it. It's, um, it's an interesting synth. Uh, what I've done is built a little pad here. Uh, sounds like this. All right, that's my Cosmos pad. And the thing I wanted to highlight here is we're just gonna build it from an init patch. I'll show you how to do it. Uh, the key takeaway for today is I want to show you um, specifically that warbling texture in there is actually a low frequency oscillator that is uh, modulating the resonance of the filter, right? Uh, we're using a regular envelope to do the sort of pad behavior of the filter sweep, bringing it up, sustaining it, letting it go back down. But while that's happening, we're using the LFO to wildly turn with our invisible hands this resonance knob, full sweeps, huge sweeps of it. And it's um, the LFO is relatively slow, seven hertz. Um, so it's giving you that uh, sort of like, that sort of liquid sort of warbling in the background. That's the resonance of the filter sweeping through. Uh, and then we're also using the uh, cycling envelope in free running mode to slowly change the speed of that sort of liquid cycling. So you'll hear that resonant, um, as the resonance gets modulated by the LFO, you'll hear it speed up and slow down. So let's talk about how we did that, okay? Uh, so let's jump to an, a knit patch. All right, and uh, we turn off all these effects. The Micro Freak has no built-in effects, so I'm using a little chorus delay and reverb on this, and we'll put that in at the end so you'll sort of get the idea of what the patch sounds like bare, and then what happens when we put effects on it. So here's our... Okay, first things first, I'm going to use a super wave sound. Superwave oscillator. That always makes good for real thick pads, right? And uh, what we're going to do is we are going to uh, put it in paraphonic mode because we want to play chords. All right, and we want to give it a long attack. Let's say about seven seconds, six seconds on our envelope. A long decay, about the same, six or seven. And we're going to bring the sustain about halfway down. All right, we're gonna turn our filter amount all the way up, okay? And that's gonna light up in our mod matrix the fact that the envelope is controlling cutoff. So now, when we turn the filter all the way down, we turn the resonance all the way down, we're gonna get something like this. All right. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to get this resonance sweeping. All right. I want an invisible hand to turn that thing. Okay. So the way we do that is we go back to the mod matrix, right? And we're going to use the LFO line here. And we're going to assign, hold down the assign button and turn resonance. That's going to assign resonance to this column of our mod matrix. All right. Uh, and we're going to move over and we're going to say LFO is going to apply resonance. And we're going to turn that up um, quite a bit. I'm going to turn that up to about 80 on the scale. There we go. And we want our LFO rate to not, you could sync it if you want. I prefer it unsynced for this sort of cosmic feel. And we're going to set it to about five or six hertz. All right. We're gonna set it to use a sine wave. So now we've got this. All 
All right. Now I like that, but I prefer it. What I really wanted to do is change the rate as I'm holding these. That's the effect I want. So I wanted an invisible hand to turn in this rate knob. Okay, well I can do that with this cycling envelope. All right, so I will go and assign to the rate knob here. That's assigned to this column here now. And I'm gonna move the cycling envelope over. There we go, cycling envelope to this assigned to. So cycling envelope is now gonna control the LFO rate. I'm gonna to go to my cycling envelope, set it for free running, that's the middle one. And I'm gonna give it, oh, about the same time as the other one. We're gonna say five seconds-ish for rise. And we're gonna say about five seconds for fall. We may do more than that, we'll adjust it. We're gonna turn the amount of this all the way up for now. And that sounds like. Oh, it would help if I actually assigned a value to this. So remember in your mod matrix, you gotta actually turn it up. Helps if the amount knob is non-zero. We'll make it about 20. We'll see how that feels. Okay, I think that's too much. Let's bring it back down. Let's make it about 10, about half that. I like that, but I want the low end to be even lower. So I'm gonna turn the rate knob on the LFO down from six. I'm gonna turn it all the way down to about three hertz. So we're sliding the range down so it starts slower. Mm, maybe up a bit, we'll leave it around four and change. There we go, you gotta play with it a bit. And it depends on the kind of music you're making and what you're doing. You may want it faster, you may want it slower. That's about right. All right. So what we've got is this super saw with our filter sweep opening and closing slowly, like a pad using the main envelope. And then we've got the LFO cycling uh, and running the resonance knob, doing sweeps with that. And then we're using the cycling envelope in free running mode to turn the LFO rate knob while we're cycling back and forth. All right, and then if we go back to the box or whatever you're using for effects, I'm gonna do them all in the inside of Ableton, but you could do it with effects pedals or something. We're going to slowly turn on. We're gonna give it some chorus. I want it to be nice and wide. And we wanna give it a bit of delay. Now this delay is actually the left channel's um, a dotted eighth note delay and the right channel is a quarter note delay, believe it or not, and there's some filtering going on, so the echoes are sort of being a, going through a bandpass filter. We've got a lot of feedback, and it's about almost halfway wet, almost 50%. So we get some motion back and forth from left to right because they're at different times. And then we're gonna put a big old corral sort of hall delay on it, space delay. And that's how it's done. It's that easy, right? So 
we didn't do anything crazy. We used a super wave oscillator, super saw oscillator. We're just doing a plain old low pass filter sweep, slow in, slow out, sustain it about halfway. We're using an LFO to spin the resonance knob for us. And we're using an alternate modulation source. In the case of the microfreak, we're using this cycling uh, envelope to change the rate of the LFO as it's going. All right. And that gives us our bass sound and then our, our basic sound. And then we apply the effects in the box or with pedals or whatever to get what we want. And that is a cosmic pad on the micro freak. You should be able to use those techniques with any synth as long as you've got multiple modulation source and a low pass filter that's resonant. You could try it with other waves too. Let's see, let's pull, let's use the Harmo oscillator. Let's turn our content up a bit. All right, so the technique is valid regardless of what your input oscillator type is, right? So you can play with that. Set up this sweeping filter, uh, then also set up the LFO on the resonance and another oscillator to change the LFO rate. And then start plumbing, um, plumbing your stuff around, changing the plumbing of your oscillators, run other things through it, give it a shot. That's about it. So I thank you for doing all this with me. And uh, as always, you've been watching Sid Seeker. Have a good night.